This is the new Air 65 Glow in the Dark Edition. But the goal of this video is to show you how to take a drone out of the box and uh, connect it to your radio and get everything set up in Betaflight. So that is the plan here today. Uh, so let me go ahead and start recording the screen on my computer. So I suggest you go to app.betaflight.com, then you'll just have the most current one. Now, this guy connects to my computer a little bit differently. Uh, I have to use the dongle, that's the official word, uh, the dongle that it came with and this cable uh, to connect it via USB-C. So I take this little dongle, I connect this cable to the dongle, I then connect it to the drone. The order here actually is important. The last thing you want to do is connect it to your computer. Make sure your pins are set up the right way. All right, we're connected. Now I'm gonna connect it to my computer and you should see some lights blinking. That's good news. Now I'm gonna go into Betaflight and I'm going to you know, if you can't find it, just say, I can't find it, right? And click and connect and connect. And now we're in. So you can see the drone behaves or it should behave on screen uh, like you see here. That's the setup tab. If we look into the ports tab. You're not gonna really mess with anything here, but I can see that my serial RX, that's my receiver, my uh, ELX receiver is here on UR3. Uh, I've got my smart audio on UR2, and I probably have this one, UR4, is open, so if I wanted to add something, I don't. <laughs> I could, though. All right, configuration. Probably, again, not much you want to change here unless you want to change your aircraft name. Um, this says Air65R. That's fine. I could add a pilot name there. I'm not going to do much here. I do like to make sure my D-Shot beacon configuration is enabled, so if I crash, I can make it beep. We got that on, air mode is on, which is cool. Power and battery, I don't mess with things there. Presets, again, not gonna mess with anything there. Now, PID tune, not for beginners, but you can change a lot of things in this menu. Uh, if you're flying uh, if you're flying in rate mode, acro mode, you can change some of these and, and it'll change how it flies. If you're changing in angle mode, you can change how big of an angle you fly this is at 50 degrees that's pretty good and then the transition or the uh, I'm sorry the angle limit is 60 degrees that's actually really pretty steep and then this strength is how quick it snaps back I actually usually like that a little bit higher let's go 75 it'll just snap back into place if I'm flying in angle mode a little bit quicker now my receiver tab I am going to have to bind it but I'm not going to bind it that way I'll show you how I do that in a second. Modes, I'm gonna set up my modes. All right, so I got arm on aux one, angle on aux two. That's where it needs to be. Horizon, I don't like horizon. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, I got a beeper on, I like my beeper on three. And then I like flip over after crash on four. You can set that up however you like. I'm gonna click save. OSD, these are all the things that I see on the screen. So I'm gonna leave aircraft name, current draw, I don't need it, don't want it. Battery voltage, absolutely. Crosshair, sure. Fly mode, nah, just cluttering up the screen. Link quality, yeah, that's fine. RSSI, fine. Throttle position, nope. And you can see these things are slowly disappearing. Uh, I just need one timer, that's fine. VATX shell, nope, don't need that. All right, I think that's good for me. And I can move these around, right, if I wanted to, but I don't. Click save. All right, video transmitter. All right, so I'm on race band one, I like that. Uh, we're gonna go up to 400, sorry, 400 milliwatts, give me a little bit more power. And that's, Fine, let's, let's uh, go ahead and save that. And crash recovery. The only thing I, I like to do in the, and you don't have to do this, right? But the thing I like to do here in the CLI is 
crash recovery equals on enter save right I like crash recovery so if I'm flying angle mode and I bump something it or I'm sorry if I'm flying acro mode and I bump something it helps me recover now you can see this light is flashing that means it's sending out a Wi-Fi signal from my receiver so because this is Express LRS I'm going to go ahead and connect to that so I'm gonna go to my Wi-Fi connect uh, click on Express LRS RX I'm gonna connect and I'm gonna open my browser and I need to go to what is it ten dot zero dot zero dot one I've done this before you can see and now I'm in here I'm gonna go ahead and type in the binding phrase that I use right the binding phrase that I use on my radio now I already set this up if you don't know how to do that that's a different video but my binding phrase is already built into this now I'm gonna tell my drone what the binding phrase is which surprise it's half chrome click save boom and now I'm gonna go ahead and power this off disconnect Okay, so I walked you through the process of setting this drone up in Betaflight and Express LRS. Now I gotta go back into Betaflight and make sure everything works. Now I did this with my Air 65 Glow in the Dark Edition, but it works for all drones. Tiny whoops, this is how I do everything. Um, and even a lot of these larger quads, the process is the same. So now let's go ahead and grab my dongle and connect this thing in Betaflight. So I'm gonna scroll down to the uh, receiver tab and what we need to do now, this is really important, especially if things aren't working right for you. Uh, grab your radio and make sure that it is responding the way that it should. You can see my switches also responding appropriately. So I'm good. If this guy is spinning, then you could have other issues. Sometimes changing the channel map to one of these others uh, will do the trick. But uh, that is it now. Now we just need to fly her. So that is how you get this thing up in the air.